Let's look at the will of man and of God. John 1, 13, which were born, not of blood, nor the will of flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> see, brother? You see, brother? You're wrong. You just proved yourself wrong. Let's get up and leave. No. Hold on. Let's turn off the phone. Let's turn off the computer. I don't want to listen to this guy anymore. Hold on. This verse is often misinterpreted. As though man's will has nothing to do with his own salvation. If that were true, then you would have to throw out verse 12, which speaks of men actively receiving Christ. And the context here is being born again or born from above. We are told three ways that being spiritually born does not happen. First of all, we are not born again of blood. It means heritage. Jews of that time, and even today, thought and think that being of Israelite heritage made the individual person a person of God. Oh, I'm from Israel. I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a child of God. We see that in some of the liberal churches. Well, you know what? My parents go to church and they believe, so, you know, God's going to look at me and understand that, you know, I came from a Christian family, so I'm a Christian. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me I'm lying. I've met these people. I've seen these people. The false Jewish believers in Jesus' time told Jesus that they were the children of Abraham. John 8, 33, the answer to him, we give Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man, which is a lie, because if you read Exodus, if they just didn't know their scriptures, apparently, either that or they're lying through their teeth. We're never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou he shall be made free? The verse is clear, you're not saved by heritage. Okay? That's what they thought. That's what they thought. But John, John 1, 13 is clear, you're not saved by blood. You're not saved by heritage. 